Hey guys, Candy here, and today I will be finishing up my Sailor Moon doll. So getting right to it, I'm penciling in where the part and the bangs are going to go. I made a bunch of thin wefts off screen. To see how I make those, please check out my Sailor Venus wig video. I start with the part, applying the wefts in the opposite direction I want them to be. That way when I pull them back, I will get a nice clean pulled back hair look. Take some extra time to make sure the glue is absolutely dried. If you don't, once you pull back on the hair, it'll detach and you'll have to do that part all over again. There! All dried. I actually kind of like the cool funky look she's got going. Now it's time to pull those wefts back. Take your time and pull back the hair a little bit at a time. You'll want to glue each section you pull back at the location where her buns are going to be. As I progress, I cut the extra hair so it doesn't get in the way. Looking good so far! Alright, one side done! So once the one side is done, I do the same thing to the other side, and she will have some nice pigtails. Well, <laughs> minus the tail part anyway. Next I start on the bangs. I once again apply the hair in the opposite direction, so when I bring them forward, she will have some nice poofy bangs.
Another radical hairstyle if I do say so myself. Once that's dry, I wet the hell out of them and take a bobby pin to hold them forward while they dry. Using a razor, I slowly trim the bangs down to the length I want. Take your time with this and cut small amounts at a time. You don't want to mess this part up. Now let's make some buns. I use epoxy clay and make two small balls. I want them smaller than they should be because when I apply the hair, that'll bulk it up to the right size. I'm adding pins to the clay so that I can attach them to the head once they're done. Using very thin wefts, I start wrapping the clay, using as much glue as I can so it all stays in place. Once the buns are dry, I stab them into the head. Her bangs are wet again because they were still a bit poofy for me, just so you guys know. <laughs> Once the buns are in place, I add another layer of hair just for good measure. While that dries, I start attaching her choker. The ribbon is white, I know, but I'll paint it soon. Now for the gems. For her bun gems, I made the white frame from clay. I let that dry and then smooshed a red gem into the center. Then I just glue them on top of the buns. 
then I paint the choker. I know, I'm all over the place right now. For the actual pigtails, it's pretty simple. I just made some long wefts, waited for them to dry, and then glued them into place. Alright, let's get started on the clothes. The basic sailor outfit was made by the wonderful Spellbinding Beauty store. Please check out their Etsy page, it's so fantastic. Alright, it looks good. I used white acrylic paint to paint the stripes, and for the gem on the bow, it's just more epoxy clay. I attach four smaller clay balls with super glue, and then I do the same for her choker. Once all that's done, it's time to paint. I forgot to film the part where I add more clay balls to the center of the medallion she's wearing, and I also use a layer of shiny gold paint. Just trust me, that happened. <laughs> After that, it's time for her boots! This part was pretty simple. I just add clay around the edges, and once that dries, I cut the shape I want with an X-Acto knife. After that, I file it down until it's smooth. At the same time, I apply trim to her painted-on gloves. Then I basically just paint everything else that needs to be painted. After I put it all together, I curl her hair. The curls will eventually loosen into a nice light wave, but at the moment I really like the tight, cute little doll curl she's got going. Pardon my paint-covered hands, please. <laughs> I tend to use them as a palette when I paint, a bad habit that I picked up back when I painted Warhammer models. And she's done! Actually, they're all done. <laughs> well, this was a fun project and I learned a lot. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching and please subscribe, like, and follow me on Instagram and I will see you guys next time.